Yeah, I would say um, I was expecting that you know some of the people who mm -hmm. turned up would be more normal, yeah, but majority yeah. are just recycling the same pickup lines, just uh, memes from the page. Um, and, 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 do, do you actually do like a like a little, little small background check on like their Instagram profile? Like, oh, maybe this guy's this guy's only engineer, for the guy's, only for the top twenty. What was the job prospects? For um, all. Everyone's doing well. Everyone's a doctor, uh -huh. everyone's an engineer, everyone's a surgeon. Wow. One of them was a neurosurgeon and he was giving me advice on my brain tumor as well. Okay. So there, there are a lot of people with amazing jobs. Right. I felt Asian. I mean, like it's an Asian group. Every, yeah. Everyone's been pushed right, right, to do right, right. these things. Yeah, yeah. So, I would say the ones that I crossed off the fastest on were probably the guys who had um, just like all of their Instagram pictures were shirtless bodybuilding mm, things. Those okay. are the ones I was just like, okay. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, you know, you, you get into some of these more like established careers, like the, you know, like Asian excellence, mm -hmm. right? You know, doctors, neurosurgeons. Which, which, which are great things, but I would prefer if you can chat with me. <laughs> okay. And also, like, I'm not going to ask them how tall they are. I feel like that's a, that's a mean question to ask. But I'm right. from their photos, I feel like... Do you have a height requirement? Not exactly, uh -huh. but they, they do... I don't think they realize how tall I am either. Because yeah. on the post, it did mention my height. Yeah. But, like, I don't think it really hits people that I'm six foot tall until right. they see me in real life right. and i think one of the comments i got was oh you'd be a lot more attractive if you were shorter that that sucks too to see comments like that i would say like, I mean, like it makes sense when your post has that many likes or views that yeah. some of them will be negative okay i would say you're very like emotionally mature for like all the things that you've been having to deal with right with all, all these negative comments because like you're, you you weren't prepared to go viral essentially i would say i had a lot of support on my on my side too i had uh -huh. friends who were defending me i had strangers that were defending me yeah, yeah, yeah. that that kind of knocks every bad comment out of the park right but still to to, to see all that and then have like a brain tumor right and, and it's like yo i i don't know if i, I gave you props already but oh one, one more time you. one more time well um let's let's do a little little hinge review damn I know how to. Rice, I know how to. Hello. <laughs> what is that? A crawfish? It says shrimp. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I caught it myself. <laughs> a life goal of mine is to guest star on on on. P P Pen Pen Pingu. Pingu. The animated penguin show. My most irrational fear is you. This is pretty funny. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. yeah uh, I don't actually know what other females hinge look like. I haven't seen any of my friends' ones. I feel like they just kind of hide it. They they, like, they don't really want you to know that they're on Hinge. Yeah, 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 mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's a little don't don't ask, don't tell. You know what I'm sussed out by? It's like what they don't show me. What do you mean? So it's like sometimes, you know, girls would, like, it, they, they would only do fucking headshots. Oh. And then I don't know what's underneath, right? And then, and then I like, this one time I did like a deep dive in their Instagram right before we, we met up. And I was like, oh, wait a second. Wait a second. This was not my uh, expected look. So, yeah. what would be a perfect profile? And, and this was, this is this one's sus too, right? Be, but be, she's because showing. I mean, yeah, she, it, like all these pro like photos, sunglasses, sunglasses, sunglasses. Like, oh. what, what does your eyes look like? You know, okay, like, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, yeah, like show me everything. I would say like oh, if people have their masks on for every single photo, that's oh. like the same thing. Yeah, I mean, I didn't I didn't really use uh, dating apps during like the pandemic, but people are still doing that. With masks, yeah, like every single photo has a mask on. You can't see what they look like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 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 not a good sign. Like, what what if what if you you you, you got a gap between your tooth? Like, I don't want to. Like, I'm sorry, you know. Like that's that, that's that, that's not my my personal. Your little turn off, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what what the difference is between Hinge and Tinder anymore. Do people just mostly use Hinge now? Yeah, yeah. I, I think Hinge is the more popular one where you meet more normal people mm -hmm. tender is a little bit like you, you just look into fuck at like oh. 2 a.m right i i can't use tinder anymore they uh, banned me three times why because according to them harassment you, and uh, yeah people according, harass. no me oh they they, uh, cl they claimed that i was posting um harassment so basically one of the photos i had was um my artwork right uh -huh. and because my artwork has like skeletons in it they oh. claimed that i was posting disturbing content that was scaring people and that got me banned mm. 
Oh, I, I just remembered one of the things I got banned on from Bumble for harassment. I told a guy, I said, you look like you're 5'8", and he flagged me for harassment. Because <laughs> <laughs> I do want to go through some uh, messages that, that guys be sending. Oh, yeah. there's kind of, I never respond. <laughs> oh, yeah, it all says your turn. Yeah. AKA, like, the guy's turn to message you. Yeah, I haven't responded to anyone of them. Okay. Any one of them. Right, right, right. Let's see. My greatest strength, I can read your mind. You can tell me how big my tumor is now. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was more organized. Oh, there's this one guy who, once a year, he would send me a message saying, are you a goddess? Okay, I'm going to go back to my screenshot oh, folder. Yeah, yeah, wow. A lot of guys be worshipping. Huh? Oh, hi. I love your drawings. And then the next thing is, oh, what size feet do you have? <laughs> you started off good. You yeah, started off that's good why with the I, art. That's why I didn't block him. And then you just you just couldn't help yourself. What about this one? <laughs> you are beautiful. I am producer for Universal. Are you a singer? <laughs> okay, first you are not a producer <laughs> for Universal. Oh, wait, hold on. Can't, okay, is there is there one guy? That, that I could potentially set you up with in the hinge. What do you mean? Like, like on well, my hinge? On your hinge, yes. I don't, I don't know. What, is, what, do you, what do you mean? Like, do you know them? No, like as in I'm gonna look through, through your hinge and I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick out a potential suitor and then you ask them out on a date. Okay. Or, or, or let, cause, cause I don't think you, you've taken anything seriously. No, I haven't. But the yeah. thing is my location isn't even where I'm located right now. For a while, I just set it to uh -huh. like Alabama. And I was just looking at some- Al Alabama white dudes? That... Yeah, cause it's funny. You'd see their profile and just be like holding a kind of beer and saying, I love America. It's just, it's funny to look at all of them. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. But like, I, I currently don't have any LA matches. If you were to swipe, I'm sure you'd find someone. I feel like it might be different if I were actually attracted to them. I'd probably say more. Right. So what? I mean, I'm guessing it's since you match with them, you do find them attra- No? I give my friend my phone sometimes and they do it for me. I think it's just because all my friends know that uh -huh. it's almost impossible to get me a date. So really? I, I do the same thing. I'm like, here, have my phone. Help me. Right. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. But, but, but here- like, you don't want your friend to dictate, you know, what you're attracted to, right? No, so, but it's so, more like, I think all my friends know that I've only been on four dates my whole life because I can't handle it. So I'm just like, here, you you, you do it, you try, because so, I'm so already like very nervous. So like a blind date? I've never agreed to go on one. I don't, none of my friends have ever succeeded in trying to get me out on a date. Interesting. Okay, wait, wait, okay. For you though, like, is there anybody that you are, I'd say physically attracted to? On my hinge, uh -huh. they're not even in LA, I think. Have I talked to any of them? Barely. This entire podcast, I, I've been just trying. I've been trying to like do, do a deep dive on who you are as a person, and now I feel I'm just like an incredibly nervous. Right, right. Human so, being. So, so now I'm like, I, I'm I'm trying to, you know, put myself in your shoes, and I'm just like, he got no shot. <laughs> I don't even know what my dream guy is supposed to be. I'm just incredibly nervous. Maybe Harvard might be a good option for you. That's what my mom said. She said, look, Allison, yeah. you have a brain tumor. You're going to write the best personal essay. No university is going to reject you if you've got this brain tumor. Get into Harvard, get into Yale, get into Oxford. Mm -hmm. Your man is there. You know, my mom, she even, like, she was trying so hard to help me with this dating situation. She really? researched architecture conventions in LA just for me to <laughs> hang around because she has this idea that architects are rich, creative, and cool. And I'm just like, I, I'm not doing that. I'm not, yeah. I'm not just going to stand outside of an architecture convention waiting for a man to walk out. Right. She's, she had this idea too. She was like, Allison, I want you to make an Excel file. And she wanted me to input men onto this Excel file and rank them according to attributes that we we find attractive, like whether it's job, height, age, prospects, how charismatic you are. And she wanted to be able to access it so she can add or delete people. Oh, absolutely not. Your mom <laughs> will not dictate your, 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 your love life. I think, um, I think it's just clear to everyone I know that I need help. <laughs> Give me some advice. <laughs> I think, yeah, it starts off with, with you being receptive to like guys coming in. Mm -hmm. That's one. Um, two, I think, yeah, that like that guy has to be somewhat charming and like fun and make you feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. um, and 
I think yes, like the conversation, like yeah, you need to carry a, a conversation, but I don't know if that's necessarily what's gonna attract you. You could have, you could carry a conversation with a lot of guys, you know, like and it, th- that, but that's like friendly shit, you know, mm-hmm. like you, you could do that with a friend. But I, I think for you to actually be attracted to someone, yeah, like with everything that you got going on, they ha- do have to make you feel comfortable. They have to be, be confident, right and it's it's kind of hard to to showcase that over like a couple text messages so you that's why i say you you do have to be receptive to like going on a date mm. uh and and being receptive to to giving somebody a chance in person um that way they could showcase that like okay he, he's well put together he's you know he you know charming f- funny com- make you feel comfortable um, and, and I think for you personally, like it, it, it can't be overly flirtatious at first, but there has to be some type of charm for you to be like, wait a second. Right. And yeah, it's it, for you, it, this, whoever this guy is got to play it a little on the safer side of things, but still has to, has to like you know sh- showcase like yo I- i'm here and i'm interested in you yeah it does take a take a guy a special guy but um la it's just the hookup culture is big here oh, so, i thought it was just an american thing no la oh just more. la la a lot more because i think la there are more attractive asian people here just, just by the sheer amount of asian people mm. and there's like the whole like abg kevin nguyen <laughs> and, and but it's just it's a look that that they're into you know i've i've never succeeded in recreating the abg look just get like you know some, some big ass lashes or hey you know get a get a fake henna tattoo <laughs> all right and then yeah maybe maybe that, that could be your first youtube i can just pose with a he- bottle of hennessy and not drink it just here yes, it is yes. right here but yeah i think um I'll, I'll leave you with that. Okay. I think uh, that about wraps it up. 